So in this video, I will talk about uh, the um, publishing of uh, iOS app. Uh, in last video, I have shown you uh, the publishing of Android app on um, Play Store. So now, first of all, I will uh, go to this code from where which file I need to open. I will open this. Uh, this is app. This is for Android. I will open this uh, iOS. And I will open this X workspace. X workspace. I will open. And here, if you see this, I have already opened here in this uh, in this in this flow. So here, workspace is already open. So when we will open the workspace, it will show something: display name, uh, build identifier, version name, and build. I am giving it as a one. Uh, one. So uh, here are few options like deployment info, which in, uh, which is the deployment info you are going to keep here. You can select whatever. If you want to uh, go for lower devices also, you can go for the lowest one that is uh, 9, iOS 9. So I have selected till uh, iOS 11, and I am covering for iPhone and iPad. So I haven't checked out these. These are by default sections. So uh, there are few plugins here which are installed some of them are integrated some of them are do not uh, are not embedded uh, so sentry sentry is embedded here only sentry is embedded here because uh, they are signed in by their own so coming to sign in certificates you can see here like i have to select the sign in certificates for this application if i go for automatic it will uh, it will give, suppose I select uh, my personal account uh, certificate, so it will sign in with that uh, uh, certificate. But it says like uh, uh, do not support push notification because push notification is enabled here. So I will go with the uh, the actual signing certificate, and uh, now I will go to resources. This signing certificate uh, uh, should be your own. So associate domains is uh, for deep linking background mode is I think it will be enabled remote notification and post notification is enabled. If you have Apple sign in, it will list here. If you have some other options also enabled, so th those will list here. What are the things you have? So going to resources, there's nothing info. Uh, while deployment, uh, the things I will uh, need to set up few things like. Uh, this uh, photo library uses uh, privacy reminder and uh, contact uses permission whatever permission you are going to ask uh, from the user you have to give a proper and valid meaning so uh, so apple can identify like this uh, this um, is being asked because of uh, the need of the app like app, app require this so if you see this uh, privacy location this uh, shows like this app required to run in background but this will be removed because if you give like this uh, apple will reject the build it will reject the build because this is default default one so these all things uh, we need to remove next going to build setting i'm not going to touch anything here in build phase also i'm not going to touch anything and in dual rule, I'm not going to touch anything. Just uh, for um, uh, for my changes, I will just touch the general. Uh, I will see in general the uh, indexed file and um, this uh, version code and uh, all. In signing capabilities, I will just change the signing certificate central. And I in build setting, I will in build setting, uh, I will not change anything. In info, I will change. I will change. Uh, uh, the the permission issue uh, permission strings like for what I am asking the permission uh, location permission file permission or photo permission photo library permission from the user so I will I will replace these um, strings shortly this already indexed so I came here only for to um, only for selecting this uh, signing certificate so my signing certificate is selected now I will go to console and i will run the same same uh, ionic build command with flag ios so this ios build will um, uh, 
will generate the generate the resources files in ww folder uh, where where it will take out the production environment so that i am passing this uh, first of all i am building when you add the platform this x uh, x pros you see here this get created when you add the platform android or ios or window this get created whatever required files are there it is that created but i am performing one build so that the things get replaced here once i will perform the build the, the build thing the js html css all things will be uh, replaced here so now it will take a bit of time to build uh, and uh, later we'll uh, test one time here like uh, i will test here one time uh, by running the run, running the app on either uh, actual device or either uh, the any of the emulator um, before the publish so i can see uh, like my app is uh, properly working before publish so we will go in one slot of uh, checks there in AOS build. So hope it will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes to complete. It depends there on your laptop also. If your laptop is having more RAM and all, then it, this process will be a bit fast. Suppose here in build I encountered one issue with the in-app browser like this gives error like plugin Cordova plugin and in-app browser is missing some uh, cdb user agent or util that uh, it, it mostly belongs to the web web kit so in um, ios is Cordova ios 6 version or plus they have removed this uh, full web kit dependency and i was using this uh, uh, version uh, version uh, 3.2.0 the ionic uh, uh, in-app browser so i am just uh, making it to being used at latest version which is 5 where uh, you can see here this is the latest version this is 5 so i will be uh, removing this uh, in-app uh, browser plugin and we will use the fifth version these are few settings i am doing here uh, for the location and all one is uh, photo library photo library i have to change here i think i have written somewhere uh, privacy camera usage description in privacy camera usage description that so camera uh, usage description here i'll change this to use camera to get something so my settings are changed now now i will go to signing i will uh, remove this uh, automatic uh, sign from here and i will for pp2 yeah this is a distribution certificate this is distribution certificate taken so next is to go to again in general looks fine now so i will go to product and here you will see one button like archive archive so i will make an archive of this and once this archive will complete we'll uh, plan to deploy this uh, archive to app store uh, from here only this uh, this will this xcode will push based on my certificates uh, it will authenticate from there and it will try to post the mm -hmm. ipf file so once this finishes the archive will we'll see how we are going to upload this is finished archive and now uh, you can see the last date, uh, uh, last date and different apps I have uploaded in recent days. So once this archive finishes here, from here you can uh, validate or you can distribute the app. Uh, so 
whatever you can do i will go for distribution this is last two updates are there so here four options are here first is uh, distribute on test flight and app store uh, app store connect ad hoc enterprise distribution so i will go for app connect ad hoc is only for listed devices enterprise is for uh, distributing the app in your uh, enterprise uh, level only and uh, development uh, development is distributed uh, between the team and members so i will go with the app store connect distribution on test flight and app store so that once my app uh, get approved and uh, it's ready to sell so i can distribute the app on different uh, devices or users can uh, update their devices uh with this recent app version next step i will process and you will see there like upload and export options uh for I the export the app from here uh, i will upload the app from here and now it's started analyzing the signatures and all checking for app store configuration like it will match with the certificates whatever i have given now i am uploading the symbols also the symbolic links here i will select the provisioning profile uh, for the production version uh, i will uh, click on information window to see if there is no any red marks are here uh, during the upload so all is ready to go all dependencies are ready so i will press next. this is the window where the dependencies are there so it started uploading uh, once it will it will gen it will generally take around uh, 5 to 10 minutes to upload um, maybe it will be fast on better network so it will take 5 to 10 minutes to upload once it uh, finishes it will show one uh, one marking uh, green marking uh, like tick like uh, saying uploaded successfully yeah so it's completed successfully my account here and uh, once i log in to my account Uh, came in develop mm, developer console i am going to app store connect and uh, there uh, let's see what is the option to create the app app is uh, ready to sell uh, so i will uh, create from the blue blue plus version i will click as this is uh, something given to uh, agreement update so the team will take concern i uh, i don't have access of this so they will take concern but uh, coming shortly uh, this is your final step here you can put all the things like you create from blue tick version you create one uh, release for the app store and this uh, you have only to fill this detail like uh, the like the version information what are the version in um, this version having some specific thing you can change out the images if you have any new images and uh, next comes to all the things next come to the build selection once your app um, app is processed apple will send one uh, email like uh, your app is processed you select the build here and uh, you can see here uh, two three options are here manual automatic automatic release on a specific version so i you most of the time i use manual release this version once uh, your release is ready to go in market you have to uh, you can see the save button behind um, there will be one more button like uh, submit for re review you have to click that submit for review once apple approves your app uh, um for sale your app is ready to sell and you can if you have selected automatic release it will be uh, rolled out automatically if you have selected manual release you will get one mail your app is uh, waiting for developer release and uh, that's all this is uh, what we follow um, to deploy the app on app store after building from the ionic Thank you guys thank you for watching follow my channel for latest update we'll see you in next video